And now we have Dr. Amin Awad, General Manager of Blom Bank. Dr. Amin will talk to us about regulation and how Blom Banks has had to deal with that over the course of the last couple of years. Dr. Amin, banks in Lebanon had to comply with Basel regulations by 2018. How have you achieved this in challenging operating conditions over the past two years? Uh, banks started implementing Basel III since uh, 2012, 2013, and the uh, Central Bank of Lebanon uh, asked banks to reach a capital adequacy ratio of 15% by 2018. Uh, against you know the international regulation, which is uh, a capital adequacy of eight percent plus two and a half uh, percent conservation buffer, which gives a total of two and ten and a half percent. We at Blom, we have we always followed a very conservative policy, and we always had a capital adequacy far above the uh, uh, prudential regulations. So uh, our capital adequacy ratio reached now a uh, level of 19.6 percent in Q1 2019. And this has been done through uh, capitalizing uh, profits uh, for the last uh, couple of years. And uh, uh, this was helped also by some measures taken by the central bank, including the financial engineering uh, during the period 2016 to, to now, up to now. Of course, it will be challenging for banks to follow higher levels, but we are confident that the measures that are being taken by the government now will, will help the economy to recover and to, to reach a higher uh, growth rate in the country. Okay, so looking at the future, what is your approach to the constantly evolving nature of financial regulation globally? How do you deal with that with Blombank's operation overseas and at home? We are a very conservative bank by nature and by, by experience. So we are uh, ever ready to the changing landscape of, of regulations, whether in Lebanon or abroad. Of course, uh, we have a very, uh, very important compliance department, whether from the legal side of compliance or from the AML uh, side. And uh, we have, uh, as you know, we have a, uh, in all Lebanese banks, we have a compliance officer at the level of each branch, uh, in addition to the compliance department at the headquarter. Uh, also, our risk management is at the forefront in applying the international standards and the best practices around the world. Uh, we are fortunate uh, uh, to have a solid uh, uh, regulator in, in the country, Banque du Liban, which uh, ha has always issued regulations far above the international uh, standards and international regulations. So you mentioned compliance, Dr. Amin. How much of a role has technology played in helping you address issues related to compliance? And how reliant do you think you can be with RegTech? Uh, we are uh, pushing our bank to be more uh, a digital bank. And of course, not only in the operations of the bank, whether at the uh, trading finance or corporate or retail banking, but also at the uh, all control functions, including compliance. And that's why our uh, compliance department has a, a, a series of, of uh, software that help uh, the mission of this uh, department to uh, perform its task quickly and uh, on a risk-based uh, approach. Uh, we have uh, 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 softwares like the Calypso, which is a, a, a software that is linked to all international lists. Uh, uh, we have another one called Smart, which filters all ingoing uh, uh, outgoing and incoming SWIFT in the bank. And we have uh, implemented uh, recently the NetAll. It's a new phonetic uh, software that make a phonetic research of all names uh, in the bank. Uh, of course, uh, RegTech uh, not only bring uh, rigor and speed uh, to our uh, control functions, but also it helps the bank not to be non-compliant with uh, regulations. So obviously, when it comes to compliance, we have to talk about cybersecurity. So how pressing are cybersecurity issues in Lebanon? And how do you protect your banks against um, a breach? Cybersecurity is a pressing issue, uh, not only in Lebanon, but everywhere. And of course, uh, it's something we have to live with. But we have also to adapt our, our uh, procedures in order to protect ourselves against cyber uh, attacks. 
uh, we uh, need always to be a step ahead uh, hackers. And that's why we created in Blombank a, an IT security department uh, that is uh, working on strategic uh, working on, on preventing the bank for all types of cyber attacks, uh, frauds, etc. And on the other hand, we have the uh, strategic planning department, which is always, all the time, adapting the procedures and the policies of the bank in order to be updated with the latest uh, foundings in this uh, uh, in this subject and to protect the bank against all these uh, types of attacks. In this point of time, so what is at the front of your mind when it comes to financial regulations for your bank? Uh, the first thing that's come to my, my mind is uh, RegTech, of course. Uh, second is the sanctions. The sanctions, especially the sanctions against uh, countries and organizations in the area, in the Middle East area around us, uh, which uh, also uh, is a very, very sensitive issue for us. And uh, on the top of all these are the uh, Basel regulations, which are the international regulations for banks. So all these issues has to be uh, followed very closely uh, to adapt, uh, you, you know, the uh, the uh, systems of the bank with all these uh, issues. All right. Do you have anything else to add on top of that? Thank you. Thank you for your time, Dr. Amin. Thank you.